Hi, I'm Jeff. I'm the crew boss at RGM Motorsport. We're at the first race of the FIA GT Series in Nagaro. I'd just like to get the mechanics to show you the five main points around the car. Tyres. These are the slicks we're using this season. As you can see, there's no tread whatsoever on there. This is to create more grip to the track. We heat them between 65 and 70 degrees before they go out on track. They're twice as wide as a road tyre. This is to create more grip on the track for the power put through them. Here we have the wets. As you can see, a lot more tread on here. This is to disperse the water off the tyre to prevent any aquaplaning and get more grip in the wet conditions. A set of these tyres is going to set you back about 1,500 euros. This is why we do take really good care of them. Hi, I'm Nick and I look after the data and the engine. This is a V6, it's based on a standard production car. Engine management system's changed and remapped to give about 10% more power than a standard car. After each outing, the car comes in and we download the data. Suspension movements, um, engine parameters, gearbox temperatures. We then look through all the data to check that every parameter is running as it should do. Hi, my name's Duncan Jarvis. I'm the number one mechanic on car 35. I'm just here to talk to you about the suspension. Um, the suspension is very similar to a sta standard car in its layout. However, we use uh, different dampers and springs, which are vastly more adjustable than a standard road car. We can do bump, rebound, high and low speed. We can change springs, we can do ride heights. So considerably more adjustable than your standard road car. He'll come in and he's hands, feeling it's understeering in turn three, for example. And then we can adjust the uh, rebound settings or we can adjust the bump settings to, to suit either front or rear. They're all, all the dampers are adjustable front and rear. I'm Dazza. I just want to talk to you about the brakes on the Nissan GTR, GT3 car. It runs a standard OE equipment Brembo rear brake, standard rear discs and bell, uh, with different compound braking pads, are the Sprinter Endurance, and on the back of it, you'll actually see, which is part of an aero, ducting through here into the brake duct to actually call the back of the bell, and then it comes out the exhaust port on the disc. And this would be the ori original caliper you'd have on your own car if you actually brought one from the showroom. Standard equipment. On the rear, it's, it's good enough. We can actually race with it. Okay, this is the race Brembo front caliper which is made from the billet piece of aluminium, which gives it a lot more strength rather than the forged two-piece. Um, it's got a bigger capacity for the fluid. It actually cools better. And also it's actually got, if you actually sort of look into the front here, you can actually change the brake pads really quickly, obviously for a race. Another really important piece of the car is actually the aerodynamics. This is your front splitter, and then coming up to your engine oil cooler, going up through the top there. And then this is the exhaust side of it, coming through, going through the different coolers, releasing the heat. This will be from the engine, again, getting shot of that air as quickly as you can. Above it, onto your front bumper, now you've got the 2013 front dive planes, which give a lot more grip, downforce across the front end of the car. You can adjust the rear spoiler to sort of suit the way the front is working. We've got all these adjustments, change the angles, and you can just work this with the front. So it's just trying to find the sort of a good balance, front end grip, rear grip, also speed. And basically, if it didn't have these front and rear, it wouldn't go around the corners anywhere near as quick. 